After three weeks, Rangers are set for their second signing of the January transfer window, but technically their first signing in January because Fabio Silva was wrapped up in December. And similar to that deal, it literally looks like this has come out of nowhere. This guy's been linked with mega moves to West Ham no more than a month ago. And all of a sudden, it looks like the ball is in Rangers' court. And I think because of that, it looked kind of similar to Cifentes, where the guy's so highly rated. And, you know, he was linked with moves to Leicester, Brighton. And now it was Leicester. Manchester City also were interested in Cifentes. But, you know, Cifentes recently, he's come out on Instagram. I don't know if he's going through a heartbreak or he just put up, like, a, a motivational post. But apparently he's struggling living here. And you know what, right? That's not that's not good for him. It's not good for us. But at the end of the day, we need we sign football players to come in and perform on the pitch. We didn't sign them to write stuff on social media. At the end of the day, if he's not going to come in and perform and he's not happy here and he's homesick or you know he'd rather play somewhere else, then let's just get rid of him. But here, yeah, if he wants to commit his future to Rangers and get his head down, then fair enough. But we are not a football club that's got time to wait for players who are not exactly feeling up to it. And hopefully with this signing, who is also another fellow midfielder by the name of Mohamed Diomande, he is a rising star. He is only 22, the Nordsland midfielder. He's been linked with mega Premier League moves, of course. Uh, he did make his first team debut in 2020, so, you know, four years ago now. Um, and I'm actually kind of surprised that this deal is so close to happen because normally... I mean, I look at the news every day. I make feds on the news every single day, and this guy's I've not this guy's name has not even been mentioned. You wake up the day though, and he's like the first thing you see. Now he what he is born on the thirtieth of October two thousand one, um. So you know he'll be twenty three then. He's only played for Norwichland. He's linked with all those Premier League moves. He's only got what twelve months, I think it said on his contract. I think that's because, um. Their season ends, doesn't it? I think their season eight is ended right now. So I know twelve months on the contract sounds weird because obviously you would normally associate that with like the summer having twelve months left. But I think it's because you know their season finishes completely different to ours. But he's played ninety six games for Nordsland, um, and he's scored eleven goals. Now he is a midfielder, so we're not going to really read too much into his goals. But here it proves that he can score goals from midfield which is a good wee hang now his international career he's played for Ivory Coast under 23 so yeah he's not exactly done an awful lot there but in terms of looking at his player profile according to transfer market he's got a transfer fee or a valuation of 3 million um, he's a big physical midfielder and here I'm not going to say no to Ranger signing players I, I would I'd rather them up the front end of the pitch but at the end of the day I didn't want us getting in a few weeks' time and being like, oh, we're so weak in the middle of the park, we've got no depth. Because for the for the past three weeks, we've sat on our hands, doing nothing, man. You know, look at the start of this window. McKenna being linked with, that doesn't even look like that, it just looks like fake news at this stage of the game. You, know, you look at Shankland, <laughs> I said I'd never mention his name again. Well, I've mentioned it. All right, but you know, all these people have been linked with, Dodge, etc., it's like there's never been actually anything formal. Well, this actually does look formal. This looks like it's going to happen. So anyway, guys, his contract expires at the 31st of December. So there's like 11 months to go. I don't think it'll cost that much. It says his transfer fee is three million. But I think you probably only get him for a cutthroat price around a million pound or something like that. So, yeah, hopefully we get this guy across the line. I'm not going to pretend that this guy's going to be the difference maker in us winning the league or, you know, winning the Europa League. But at the end of the day, I think it'd be a good sign and I think it would be a step in the right direction, adding some depth and some well-needed areas of the pitch. But at the end of the... Wait, what? Ho, oh, oh. ho. Apparently. Oh, I don't know. Not apparently, but I didn't... I kind of talked about Sima yesterday in the review, but... He's out injured, man. It looks like it could be for the rest of the season. It's an absolute fucking disaster, if we're being perfectly honest, for him being out that long. But, yeah, we'll have to move. We'll have to adjust it. The only positive you can take out of Seema being injured, and like Danilo, is that you think it would force this board's hand. But uh, looking at the past three weeks, nothing has been forced. 